Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I really wanted to do one of my absolute favorite colors um, for fall inspired look. So teal is one of my very, very favorite colors. This is a teal green that I love and I thought that I would do a look on it because every time I wear this type of eye look, even if it's without an outfit that matches, I get so many questions like what eyeshadow did you use or you know, how did you do it? So I figured instead of doing your typical smoky eye for a night out, why not do a fall colored one? If you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep watching and thank you so much for coming back. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to use the ColourPop Single Eyeshadows Palette that I made. I'll list all the eyeshadows I have in the palette and I used below in the description. But this is what it looks like. I just order it when they have that special for their single shadows and then you get to pick a palette. I'm going to start off with the first shade um, and the BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. I'm going to apply that to the brow bone. As usual, you see my eyebrows are on and I have also applied my primer. I'm going to list the primer I use on my eyes today below. And I'm going to apply this brow bone all over. I'm going to apply this shade all over my brow bone and inner corner area so it can help my transition color blend in. Next, I'm going in with some warmer toned browns with an e.l.f. blending brush. I'm just going to take a little bit of this to start off and possibly this. I always forget about the fan you guys, I'm so sorry. It's so hot in this room and hopefully I don't start sweating without that fan. So now I'm gonna go in with a more teal shade, which you can see by my blouse I was inspired. And I'm going to be using my handy dandy NYX Glitter Primer my shadow brush by e.l.f. to apply the primer I'm just going to apply that on like starting from the half to the inner corner and I'm going in with this teal shimmery shade Look how beautiful that is. It's from the same ColourPop palette, so I'm... I love teal eyeshadow. I will say that I find these ColourPop shadows a little more stiff and not stiff in a bad way as in like hard to blend but as in I feel like I need to tap my brush in it a little more. They're not as soft. Which again, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means you have to work with it a little more. For the um, definition above that teal color, I'm going to take this darker green teal 
for the outer and top. And you'll notice again for my type of hooded eyes, I always leave this side a little bit messy because I'll go in and clean it with concealer. And this is the BH Cosmetics 11 brush by the way. So don't worry about how crazy it looks again. I'm going to go in and blend that out and then we're going to clean it up with concealer. And then just to avoid looking so harsh from the teal to the orange, the orangey brown, we're going to use more of a red tone shade. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow in the same palette just to blend out the tops. And you can go back in with the nude color. Just to blend out all the edges on the top. I always like to clean up my eyeshadow. I'm sorry. I always like to put my eyeliner on before I clean up my eyeshadow because um, the liner sometimes is not perfect at the bottom, so I like to clean that up too. I'm gonna see if this black gel liner will work. Do not like that eyeliner. I used to like this brand, I mean this eyeliner, but I guess not anymore. It's the Wet n Wild Cream Eyeliner. I need to try a new one. I've heard a lot of good things about Inglot. If you've tried it, let me know. You see what I mean by this being messy? And now we're going to clean it up with concealer. Well, actually, let me try to do a wipe first. So now I'm going to prime my face. And then we'll come back and finish the lower lash line and the inner corner and the lashes. Alright, I'm back. Before we finish off the eyes, um, just a little tip, when you put on too much, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges of my bronzer and blush.
this part looks so crazy but it's it makes a huge difference so I got to contour my nose can't forget the giant nose To do the under eye, I'm gonna take some. This is the shame. The shame. The same shade we use on the top crease. I'm using the. Number 14 brush by BH Cosmetics to pack it in. Take a little bit of the orange. And then just a little bit of the deeper colors on my outer corner to blend this in with the liner. And then for the waterline, I'm gonna use the Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. my favorite Morphe eyeshadow, the shimmery orange one. Don't try these at home, folks. So now, you have everything inside your eyeballs. Put some in your corner. You can just use a highlighter that you have on your face, which I have the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter on. I'm gonna put some mascara on, lashes, and brush this bake off. I don't know if I should do lipstick or just gloss. This has been my favorite liner right now. The LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Bare. Such a nice nude color. I should just do a gorgeous or do it on that. That's a bold lip. I don't know about that. I keep dropping the lash. I 
I haven't even set my face yet and this concealer is just, it looks so snatched. When you have a fan, use it. When you don't have a fan, use your mirror. Press in the highlighter so there's no harsh line. I'm going for this lip, guys. I'm scared. We're not doing it. I'm too scared. We're doing this ColourPop Here's to You lip gloss. I'm pretty sure I put way too much gloss on, but it's too late to go back now. Thank you for checking out my channel and my videos. Please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to turn on that little bell. It'll tell you every time I make an upload.